Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Oh my gosh, just like the first one, I deleted the second one like an idiot because I thought I was deleting the one that I just did. So now I'm back to do it once again and I don't even remember what was his source. Where is that phone? Where are you, phone? Here it is. Give me one quick second. I'm going to look to see for myself what was his source. What's the source that actually gave him? Oh boy, it sucks. Cool, I'm glad my video's premiering now in another place. I'm actually maybe just taking it and toying with it, just seeing how that goes. So here is his video, and he did it three days ago, two days ago. Are we just never gonna have the. Shh, And he doesn't even mention where he actually got it. Son of a bick. He says in a video, but I'm not going to watch the video again. But it's not comicbook.com that actually did it. Yeah, it wasn't comicbook.com. This time around, it was some other one. But anyways, still talking about Goosebumps. <laughs> and the Goosebumps TV show. It might be for adults and kids, fans alike. The adults won't actually hate the show so let's see what that means apparently the person which yes um for michael goosebumps there's one person who was like oh no the producer from the two movies he's here he's gonna do damage and i'm like well it looks like in this article it says different it says the fact of he has a full budget for it which we already already knew that it's a full length budget and he said it's for adults and kids alike. Of course, I'm paraphrasing, but still, he actually is most likely sticking to his guns. We have no idea what it means by kid. I mean, adults. Does that mean that he's going to make them adults now? That would be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, but it's like sex appeal wise, it's like, hey, sure, why not, man? <laughs> but yeah, it's like the rule thing is that no, it shouldn't be like that. So that's most likely not what it means. Does it mean that it'll be political and political correctness and everything and all that crap? It's like, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be a part of it either. I think what's going to happen is just basically like, for instance, Young Justice, um, Beware the Batman, Green Lantern animated series, Spectacular Spider-Man. The list goes on and on where you have actual writers who are writing the story without dummying down or being this stupid. Yeah, like Ben and Betty or um, what was the other ones? Victor and Monty. Sorry to throw them under the bus, but sometimes you do have to throw people under the bus just to make a point of it's most likely will be written decently. It won't be dummy down. It would actually be just like the books themselves, but most likely a little bit of good touch ups and also the usual. You know, just straighten it up. Now, the idea of Slappy being the person that greets the people, that's that's not going to work because that most likely will just give you hints of Slappy World, which Slappy World is out now. But still, even so, it's like, yeah, but I wouldn't want to do it. Like I said, the cinematic of they had the original bookshelf or they have the bookshelf in the um, cabin. I don't know which bookshelf. I would l rather have the first movie's bookshelf and not the second one. It drops down the book, the lock is broken and open, and then we get absorbed in the book, and now we get to have the episode. I think that's how it should be done. If they actually want to do the intro like that with Haunting Hour effects, or it's just like Haunting Hour, but they do it with the book, I would be happy for that. Should they have the original intro? Yes, they kind of should. They kind of should have the intro in there, even if they're just mixing it and just having it somewhere in the episode, like a nice fun Easter egg every now and then. But I would just say they have big shoes to fill, and I would think it would be kind of cool getting Mr. Jack back and they get Mr. Jack Lens. I think that's his name. If they get him back and actually get him to do a new version of Goosebumps, 
I'm I'm cool with that. I'm freaking cool with that. But if they get a new person, he has some big shoes to fill. It is no freaking way how he's going to be able to do anything like that. I mean, um, Nightmare Room, they tried doing it. It was pretty decent. It was pretty cool. I, I actually think it was decent iconic. Haunting Hour didn't do it at all. Haunting Hour actually just went with the times and been like, oh, we just got to do some cinematic. It's nothing that's truly catchy. But the thing is that when it's on, though, it's on. You know, things get serious from one minute, one second it starts. As soon as the one second starts and the intro hit, it's on. It's seriousness. You can't freaking go in there unprepared. Well, yes, you can, but still, I'm just saying. So the intro is the big deal on that one. Anything else that I forgot that I did in the first one that I have to remember I did? Not really. Not really. Again, like I said, Disney would be a good idea. If they do a streaming service, it wouldn't be too freaking bad. But I prefer to have competition, like I said in the first video. Competition would actually help this brand and will help the other brand work out too. So we would see how that would play out. I really hope it really would play out nicely instead of the whole, oh, we just dumped the whole season on Netflix. It's like, what the frick? But it seems to me that they do have control over it. And this is Sony we're talking about. Sony actually is a part of this. They're the ones that's giving the freaking big bucks in here. So it's like, that makes sense. I'm not sure which one I said, but I'm just going to say it anyways, just in case. When it comes to this, you got to make sure that they do cover the books that weren't covered first, I think. It's like the ones that are missing from the re-releases of 2015, 2018, you kind of need to cover those. If you don't cover those and later on you cover those and then, you know, the person who's responsible of being like, oh, I know what books should be released. Yeah, that person who's sleeping right over there is like, dude, why are you sleeping? Get up. There's still more freaking books you have to print out. <laughs> and he's just, you're just asleep. They're just freaking asleep for some reason. They're just asleep. And it's like, why? Why are you asleep? Okay. What's your deal? Get up and get more books out. So they really have to make sure that they know what they're doing. Or at least the book department does. It's like, yeah, the ones who actually are like, oh, we got to do some book releases. Hopefully they'll be waking up and they're actually going to you know, coordinate with the episodes. I think that's about it. So yes, it seems like it will have some good storytelling in it. I don't know exactly what a more adult they can do with it, but we'll see what exactly happens. I just think that they're able to actually keep a serious tone like the original series without the usual thing of dummying it down and crap. I'm just saying. And of course, if I have to repeat myself again, is they should, I say, go with what you didn't release yet. If you're going to do, it's like, if you want to stand out and be like, oh, I want to do something different. It's like, yeah, then Goosebumps 2000. That's the best one out of all of them. Because you still have, I think, 24 more to go or 20, 24 or 23 and you guys really need to secretly be like, hey, A.R. Stein, do you still have that shrieking fourth grader book ready? Yes. Okay, we're going to release it under this new one. <laughs> it's like, yes, please do that. Please do that. Because I want like all books being printed. I don't want any of them just be thrown on the wayside, even though there's like at least three that was thrown on the wayside. But anyways, there we go. Yeah, don't. Don't threat. If you're an adult and you're an adult fan, don't threat. It seems like they might actually have you in mind as well as the kids. That's sadly not the deal with Power Rangers, though. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.